Hello viewers, I am Kirti Bhave. Welcome to the session on refining of metal. This is fourth and last in the series of general metallurgical processes. After going through this video, you will be able to state the principle of refining and explain the different processes of refining of crude metal. Now before refining, the metal has been processed. The first step was crushing of the ore. The ore which is obtained from the mines is made into powder which is followed by concentration of the ore by gravity separation or by froth flotation or by magnetic separation depending upon the nature of the ore. It is then converted to oxide by calcination or by roasting again depending upon the nature of the ore. The oxide is then produced using a suitable reducing agent by smelting or by aluminothermic reduction or by electrolytic reduction. The metal thus obtained is the crude metal and depending upon the extent of purity required, the next step is refining of the crude metal. The crude metal may be refined by pulling, liquidation, distillation or by electrolytic refining. Let us see the different refining techniques. The metal obtained after reduction of the metal oxide is not always pure. The purification of metal is called as refining of metal. Depending upon the nature of the metal and purity required, a suitable technique is used for refining, which may be pulling, liquidation, distillation or electro-refining. We begin with pulling. Pulling is a technique of refining, most often done for copper. The hot crude metal, which is in the molten state, is stirred with green logs of wood, as shown in the figure. The wood gases reduce metal oxide impurity to the metal During stirring, large quantity of air is absorbed and this air oxidizes oxidizable impurities. The oxidized impurities escape either as vapor or form scum and thus we have metal with a higher purity than it was earlier. The scum is removed by perforated lacquer. The next process is liquidation. This is a method used for metals having low melting point like lead or tin etc. The crude metal is heated on a sloping furnace as shown in the figure. The metal with lower melting point melts first and flows down the slope. And the infusible impurities called as dross remain behind. Thus, we have metal which is pure. Another method of refining of crude metal is distillation. 
Metals having low boiling points like mercury or zinc etc. are refined by distillation technique. When crude metal is subjected to distillation, pure metal distills over. The impurities with high boiling point or non-volatile are left behind in the retort and thus we have pure metal. Sometimes metal of high purity is required and that is the time we go in for electro refining. Electro refining is an electrolytic process in and an electrolytic cell is set up where the impure metal is made the anode. A thin strip of extremely pure metal is made the cathode and the electrolyte is a suitable salt solution of the anodic metal. In case you are purifying copper, the impure copper is made the anode. A thin strip of extremely pure copper is made the cathode and a solution of copper sulfate is used as an electrolyte. On the passage of current, the copper from the anode ionizes to give you copper ions. These copper ions accept electrons and get deposited over the cathode. The impurities settle at the bottom of the anode as anode 1. Slowly and after some time we find that the size of the anode decreases while there are fresh deposits of extremely pure copper on the cathode. Let us revise the key concepts. Method of selection of refining of metal depends upon the nature of the metal and the extent of purity desired. Metals with low melting point are refined by liquidation. Metals with low boiling point are refined by distillation. Metals with oxidizable impurities are refined by coaling. And when metal with high purity is required, then it is refined by electro refining. I hope you have understood all the processes of refining of metal. Wish you happy learning. Thank you.